This last week, I did several interviews because on Monday, it was International Women's Day. And one of the questions that every interviewer asked me was how as women do we take back our power? Well, I'm not sure we ever had the power in the first place, so I'm not sure we're taking it back, but I did share a few things about how we can be more powerful. And I thought, why not share them with you? And really most of what I have to share applies to both women and men. Hi, I'm Deborah Poneman, founder of Yes to Success Seminars, where we share knowledge and tools for you to live a life you love. About 10 years ago, I read an article in Forbes, and I've loved to refer to it ever since. In the article, there were listed ways that we women can stop being so complacent and accommodating and start growing in our power. And the article said that if we did a few of these things, it would make a big difference in the way we perceived in life and especially in the workplace. And one thing that was suggested was to use more powerful language, starting with, listen to this one, getting rid of the word just. Now, I remember thinking, really? Just getting rid of just? <laughs> but it works. So here's an example. What we usually say is, oh, I'm, I'm just checking to see if, or, oh, I just wanted you to know, or I just called because. And what they suggested to do is to listen to yourself for a week. And when you're about to say the word just, don't. So instead of, oh, I'm just checking to see, you would say, I'm checking to see. Or instead of, I, I just wanted you to know, you say, I wanted you to know. Or instead of, I just called because, you say, I called because. See, you can feel the energetic difference. So it's really about changing your energy field, if nothing else. And I remember taking that challenge, that one week challenge 10 years ago, and I was astounded to notice that I hardly spoke a declarative sentence without the word just. And it was scary for me to eliminate it. But when I did, it was very powerful. And then they went on in this article to suggest that we replace weak words with stronger ones to again, change the power of our overall communication. So for example, they said, instead of saying, I think, or I believe we should opt for stronger options, like I'm confident that, or instead of, I feel like what could happen, we might want to say, I expect what could happen. Now, these simple replacements, I'm confident that, I expect that, can make a huge difference in our message and how it's perceived. Now, we don't wanna be bullies, okay? Or right at all costs. So it's not like we wanna um, replace, I believe with, I know what could happen because we don't know, we never know. So I'm saying you should not act like the boss in the Devil Wears Prada, but you also might wanna stop kind of wimping around. Now, another thing women tend to do to weaken our power is to constantly apologize, especially when it's not necessary. So have you noticed that men usually don't do that? Saying you're sorry unnecessarily puts you in a subservient position. Oh, oh, oh I'm so sorry I interrupted. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry I shouldn't have said that. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I, I think I missed what you said. Oh, I'm sorry for being sorry. So just watch when you apologize and eliminate the phrase pretty much entirely. Watch yourself and only apologize when it's truly warranted. Um, you know, instead of, I I'm sorry, I miss what you said. You say, I miss what you said. Instead of, oh, I'm so sorry I interrupted. It's, oh, I interrupted, go ahead. Now, another way we can be more powerful and many of us, especially in the workplace have experienced this, it's to stop letting other people take credit for your ideas. You bring up a point in a meeting and nobody seems to hear you. So you just kind of forget about it. And then later somebody else who is sitting right next to you and sometimes it might be a man, but um, not always, but they repeat your thought and people applaud the idea. Oh my gosh, that's so brilliant. When you stay silent, and let others take credit for your ideas, you give your power away. So I say, take your credit back, girl. And here's one way you might wanna do it. You can simply say, 
Thank you, John, for bringing up the idea that I proposed earlier. And of course, there is nothing you could do to feel more powerful than to say no. When we say no to something that doesn't feel totally right, we're not really saying no, we're really saying yes. We're saying yes to ourselves and to our own needs instead of the needs of somebody else. And when you take care of your deepest needs in the long run, ultimately everyone will get taken care of. When we don't say no, it's only because we want approval and we want people to like us or we don't want to seem selfish. But that behavior comes at the expense of our own health and our own happiness. And I've always believed when you do what's best for yourself, when you act in alignment with your own real truth, the way the universe works is that you're also serving the highest good of the other person. Also, when you say yes, when you really want to say no, you're probably going to end up feeling some degree of subtle resentment about doing whatever it is that you've agreed to do. You'll feel resentment towards the other person, even though you're the one who said yes, and you didn't have to, it was your choice. So if the thought of saying no makes you really uncomfortable, here are a couple of baby steps that you can take. Start with the little things. Now, this one, my dear friend and co-founder of Your Year Miracles, Marcy Shimoff, suggests as a starter, and I love it. She said, when you walk through a department store and the perfume demonstrator asks you if you want a spritz, in a very nice way, you can say, no, thank you. I'm sure it's lovely, but not today. I love that one. You think you could do it? Now, another baby step you can take is if somebody calls you like a telemarketer or someone asking for a donation to a cause, instead of being rude like they expect you to be, say something like, um, I'm really not interested right now and I would like you to take me off your list, but it sounds like a good cause and I wish you great success tonight. Marcy and I both love that one. I mean, they won't believe you said something so nice while you're saying no. And usually they'll say something back like, thank you so much. That was so nice of you. You said no and you made their day. I mean, you're probably the only person all night that was kind to them. So you'll end up feeling great also. And the more you do these little things, the more and more empowered you feel each time. So here's a little project that you could take on between now and maybe next week. And that is to say no to at least one thing a day. Just one thing that you generally want to say no to. There might be a feeling of contraction at the moment, but just breathe into it and notice how empowered you feel on the other side. And I'm going to give you a little hint, a little trick to make it easier. Now, again, I hope I don't seem sexist, but usually women more than men, I know it's a generalization, but it's what I've observed. Women have a knee jerk reaction and we say yes spontaneously. So next time you're about to say yes spontaneously, remember that you're allowed to pause. So pause, take a breath, give yourself a few moments before you respond and ask yourself in those moments if it's really a yes. Remind yourself that time is not a renewable resource and the world will in fact go on even when you say no. And then give your genuine answer after the pause. If you're not sure, you can also always say, you know, I'm not sure, but I'd like to get back to you tomorrow on that. So I wanna end the day with a little story about Warren Buffett and uh, saying no. Now, Marcy and I have a friend who had lunch with him and our friend asked him, what do you think is the key to your extraordinary success? And you know what he said? And this is a quote. He said, oh, that's easy. The key is that I say no to 99.999% of the things that come my way. He's also been quoted as a saying the difference between successful people and really successful people is that really successful people say no to almost everything. So look inside your heart, say no to the things that are really a no for you. 
use more powerful language, stop apologizing, don't forget to take credit when you deserve it. And let me know in the comments how it goes for you and how much more powerful you feel. And next week, I'm going to talk about a different kind of power, one that's less about uh, what we do on the outside and more about what we do on the inside. So happy International Women's Day week uh, to all of you amazing women and to all of you men who support them in their amazingness. Have a great week. Bye for now.